growth uh, retention areas. Studies them in what way? In regards to uh, making a comparison for the, uh, for the carbon. Uh, oh, the work that was done at Oregon State, and, you know, I'm not the scientist, so uh, just my understanding of the work is that the, the lands that are not in the matrix contain even more carbon. So you would see, you would see that graph on steroids. It would be rather interesting because if you're looking at those older trees, their their development is slowing down versus the younger stands. They're they're growing more rapidly. Yeah, that's that's sort of a that's sort of a, a, a again. I'm not the scientist, but as I understand what the scientists say is that first of all, you have very large trees and they're they're growing more slowly, but they're big guys. Right. Right. Uh, and that a lot of the carbon is in the trunk and in the the limbs. But about half of the carbon is down in the soil. And so, again, you have very big trees, you have very big uh, amounts of carbon in the soil. And that's what you lose. Now, uh, they, if you com again, I think I said this, is that you're comparing two alternatives. One is that you log, one is that you conserve. Now, if you conserve, you have some of the trees that are continuing to grow, continuing to add carbon. So, in fact, the amount of carbon goes up under conservation. What you have on the flip side of that coin is that the carbon definitely goes down when you lock. And it's that difference that is reflected in that now. Thank you.